Hey guys, how's it going today? It's Ufft here. This video is probably one of the biggest flower poker sessions I've ever had. I'm basically basically going to tell you guys what exactly went down. It was about 2 a.m. my time. I mean, I was about to get off. I was chilling by myself. Freaking no one was at the spot. And lo and behold, look at that. There's a tame mule. Obviously, it's a tame mule because freaking... Well, you'll see how, how much you bet. Anyway, anyways, um, he comes up to me. He's like, dude, dude, I remember you from Twitch. Because I used to stream on, on Twitch TV. And he's and then he, and I'm like, oh, sup, man. Um, I was just like, yeah, like, I know you, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really remember the guy, but I mean, I, I needed to be nice. Um, he told me, he's like, hey, when you used to stake on Twitch, I gave you some suggestions. And that's when I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I, know, I actually kind of remembered, somewhat, somewhat remembered of who you are. And, um, so anyways, we were talking for a little while and then he's like, Hey, so what are your rules in flower poker? <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, well I told him the rules. He's like, all right, let's go. One bill pot straight up as you saw. And then like, I don't know, straight after that, 200 mil, 200, it was mental. Anyways, guys, you'll see what went down. It was crazy. 11.1 bill in pots in total. But yeah, anyways, guys, I just want to see how are you guys going? What is going on? You, most of you guys are back at school now. Um, unfortunately myself, I finished school, not last year, the year before, I, f I, I feel so old, it's not fair, freaking, I'm turning 20 this year, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm expecting that most of you guys that are watching my videos are between the ages of, what, 15 and 18, guys, I'm telling you, do not waste your, tr your schooling, because, honestly, man, it is the best time of your, okay, well, so far, of my life, at the time, I didn't realize, but, yeah, Anyways, guys, I was just wanted to check up on you guys because I haven't spoken to you in several weeks yet again. I keep making false promises to you. I keep saying I'll upload a video every single week, but I don't get around to it. And the reason is I don't have enough footage. Well, okay, <laughs> that's a lie. I, okay, I don't have enough footage to make a montage. I have enough footage, as you can see here. Like, I get these kind of things every, every now and then. Um, such as one last night, I should have videotaped that, but it wouldn't have been as exciting as this one. Um, also, I don't really expect you guys to watch this whole thing. If you do, then congratulations. Welcome to the freaking Oft Loyalty Program, a new program designed specifically by Oft, although you must pay me in rune coins. Okay, guys, you must buy me spins. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding with you guys. But, um, anyways... The whole, and like, okay, another reason why I haven't been uploading to YouTube is because my freaking editing program, I, I used to use Camtasia, I now use, um, Sony Vegas. Oh my, dude, you have, you guys have no idea how hard it is between these two things. Like, Camtasia is just like an amateur thing. It took me at least, it took me 10 minutes to edit a video. Whereas now, it's just like, okay, um, like, I, I, I had to start from scratch basically because I, I, couldn't use Camtasia anymore, um, but yeah. So basically, to today's topic is a very—I um, don't know what word to put it as. It's a very touchy subject to some people because some people feel very strongly about it. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about it anyway. And basically, I'm going to go straight ahead into it. What I'm going to talk about today is gambling in the RS community. The first thing that comes into most people's minds when they think gambling in, in the RS community is um, scamming, is basically scamming. I mean, there's videos upon videos on YouTube of people scamming pots. Um, there's people real world trading. That's another thing that comes to mind. It's just a whole lot of negativity that surrounds um, the gambling community. And to be honest, I don't think it's fair on... I'm not going to say the whole lot of the RS community, but uh, the large majority of the RS community, of the gambling community, I should say, is a lot, is, it, it's brighter than what you guys think. Like, I don't know if any of you guys aren't gamblers that watch my videos and stuff, but it, to be honest, like, there's that, there's the negative sides, but there's also the pot of positive sides, guys. Like, I'm not going to say that we're perfect. I mean, there's always shady stuff that goes on. But then again, who, like, the freaking, co the company that runs this game, like, have they not been doing shady stuff themselves? Like, 
do you guys get where I'm coming from? Like, I'm not saying that gambling in the RS community is a negative, is a um, positive thing, but I don't think we should be put the blame. We should we shouldn't be dumped with the blame, and we shouldn't. Yeah, we shouldn't be dumped with the blame for uh, like the whole lot of issues with um, RuneScape. I mean, I was watching Stokenart's video. And he was speaking about how we're we're basically scapegoats. We're basically um, Jagex labels us as the problem in RuneScape when really they have a lot bigger problems on their hands at the moment. So it doesn't really make sense to me why would they dump the blame on us when they still need to figure out their game. Like we're not really the biggest threat. I mean, there's ne there's bad people in it, but there's also good things. Like we do drop parties. We don't just hog all the money to ourselves. Have you guys been on Own TV lately? At least every week that there is two to three two ball drop parties from different clans. And when we drop that, it's not like we like, okay, I'm going to say it. We don't want to drop two bill, but if we keep it, I mean, what is the fun in that? I get satisfaction out of doing drop parties. I don't know why you can call me a liar or whatever, but I do get satisfaction out, out of doing drop parties. What I don't like is when people, um, put the blame on, on the gambling community as a, as a problem for the whole of RuneScape because, to be honest, that's not really that fair on us. There's other people who scam in RuneScape. There's DDoSers who scam in RuneScape, e.g. in staking and in PKing. There's, um, there's a whole bunch of things, like... But yeah, like, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I mean, I, I didn't go that much in depth, but, like, hey... With, runes, with the RuneScape community, gambling community... I'm gonna say it. We we don't have a, that good of a reputation because of certain people in the RuneScape gambling community. When I say that, you guys like you can't label every single gambler as a negative person. Do you understand? Because as we do that, then like that's all of us that are getting put into this one pile of people who. Who really have done nothing wrong. And it's not fair. I mean, like, you guys can think what you like. I, I honestly, I, ex I respect each and every one of your opinions. But there's there's a part of us that, it, that there's negatives and there's also positives. Which is there's, there's always in RuneScape, you know? You know what I mean, guys? So, basically, yes, we, are, we aren't the best people in RuneScape. People call us money hungry, but then again, who isn't money hungry? Because <laughs> there'd be kids in my live stream who were just like, dude, dude, do a job party. I'm like, man, really? Like, you call us, you call the gambling, like, hosts, um, like, money hungry. And it just doesn't make sense to me, but, you know, there's, there's negatives and positives about everything. We, I'm not saying we are a pos, like, a complete positive RuneScape, but I'm not saying we're totally to blame in in the whole of like RuneScape issues, quote unquote. So, um, I'm gonna quickly talk to you about something else as well. Before the video ends, I need to tell you guys, dude, I did a party hat tr set trust trade with my one of my best friends in RuneScape. I was really nervous just because you know anything could happen. Like you could get DDoS, like you know the party hats, like you could be banned. But I mean, it, it went down. It's gonna be on his YouTube, so go and check that out, guys. It's freaking sick, but it should be uploaded soon. I mean, he says he was going to upload it, but yeah, um, it was when he was on live stream. So anyways, don't forget guys, like, subscribe, comment, do all the kind of that good stuff. And oh guys, check out my new background. Tell me what you think. Comment on that. And I will catch you all maybe, hopefully in a week, I'll try and upload. But yeah, guys, so I really hope you have had a good Christmas and New Year's, etc. Goodbye. Peace.